I don't know where we're going again. Let me have a look. Where do we want to go to next? Uh, right, we're going to this one. Ooh, see that is triggering events and it says waiting for me. Just click the button. Sorry. Uh, it's about the one person that's left. I have a room block here. Bear with us, everyone. If you want, if you want a single person watching, it's fine. It's okay. Come on, let's do this thing. All right. Um, what always looks to be so easy for everybody else to do, it's for some bizarre reason we just don't seem to manage to get things to work here. So we'll just try now and then to find where this is on my job map and see what's going on. How do I watch an XXL file? Uh, we have no idea. Live now, there we go. Right, we'll click there. Oh, what a surprise, it's an advert. Did you hear it playing? Okay, skip ad, whatever. Right, we're live. Yes, right, we're live. <laughs> uh, everyone's a winner, mate. Right, uh, if you're watching this at work, uh, oh, two people watching it. If you're watching this at work, let's try and do this thing. Because when things don't go right, um, <coughs> it can get a little bit um, heated and stuff. Anyway, right, so I'm on there, that's fine. So I'm, I'm looking over there. Anyway, let's have a look at this. So if you can see, it's, it's chatting to the touch screen here. So hopefully I can press the button. So the audio is all right. I'm going to step away just from, we're going to be using these things. I'm going to step away and hope that you can still hear. Um, we're hoping that the microphone works. I mean, I don't know how to keep shouting down there because you can't hear from there because they're in the computer quite a way away. Funny Fox, hello. Hello, Funny Fox. <laughs> hello. You have to share a new link. Yes, I do. Um, so I'll share that on Twitter now. That's the point. Uh, we, will, we will get to this, everyone. Look. Share a new link. Yeah, there are people on the old. I know there's people on the old one. I have to copy that. Oh, what's the button on that phone doing? Be on Twitter then. Yeah, right. So, funny Fox, can you hear me all right? Right, just doing a tweet. Tweeting that out. So that's the new live one. Okay. That's the new one. Right. So if I go over here, let me just before we get going, everyone. Sorry, it's the first time we've done this. Um, just just to see if the audio is all right. So I've got a look at the screen to see if the audio is okay. I'm not sure that it's any any better than this. The microphone is great. So we're doing a wireless mic test as well. One person watching it. No audio, I think. Oh, God. I can't hear anything. Right, I'll just check everything. Going well. Going well. Uh, got a green light. Got a blue light. If I say something, yeah, I will. Hello? Yeah. Oh, I can hear your coughing. Is that better? Can you still hear my pocket? Right, so I was in the earphone socket. Greg is coming to this live stream. Live stream. Okay. Maybe I'll just help out a bit.
Right, so can we hear that now? Oh, stupendium. Hello, stupendium. All right, let's just turn my volume up. Right, okay. <laughs> okay, I just read that. Okay, lol ad. <laughs> right, well, if I um, shall I turn that? Yeah, well, yeah, we'll be kidding. Right, okay. I'm just going to make a start then, everyone. Uh, I'll say everyone, um, all three of you, but then that's great, thanks. Right, so we're going to do some. Oh, I'm on that one. Sorry, I keep looking at that. Jesus Christ. So we're going to do some um, canvas stretching today. And uh, I'm just going to turn this down so I can't hear myself every five seconds. Right, that's better. Now I know we've got sound. Ask the question you'd like some help with. The audio is really low. Jesus Christ. Five people watching. Well, that's good. I just don't know why the audio is. Let me do the 10 dB gain. Right. Is that any better? Is that any better? Oh, it might be actually. Might be. Is that any better? Slightly, slightly, slightly. Okay. Um, Don't think we can go much louder than that. Right. I'm going to hold it there just for a sec. See if that's any better. Still sucks. Thanks. I'm going to hold it there just for a sec, see if that's anything. Still stuck. Thanks. Lol. Right, hopefully that's a bit better. Well, am I going to have to sellotape this to my mouth? No, you just have to show it to later. Right. You'll get there. Yes, it is. It's better. Right, okay. Let's do it. Let's do it there then. No, let's do it there. Right, I'll just have to sing in a big operatic voice. No, that's all right. Okay, right, fine. Um, chuck us some bars over then, dude. Right, okay. Well, we'll, we'll just make a start. Uh, can I just introduce everyone? That, um, okay, so AD is on the camera, my, um, which is brilliant. So there he is. Hello, hello. Okay, right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this down just a little bit so that I can't hear myself. How do I do that? Function. I can still hear myself. Right, okay, that's fine. Right, I'll just mute at my end. Right, okay, jolly good. Four people online, right. So, uh, hopefully you can uh, see us at the table. Right, what we're going to do now, ladies and gents, boys and girls, Greg says he can't turn it up down from within the software he's using the sound. Um, maybe not. Um, what? Can we turn the volume up or down on the software? But it, is it? It's YouTube we're using, isn't it, to stream? Yeah. yeah? Not the Still DJI working. app. Right. Adi's just going to have a look now. What software are you using? Um, the, direct, from YouTube. direct from YouTube. It's the YouTube live, live stream app. Um, so Adi's just going to have a quick look now. While he does that, <coughs> um, I'm going to start shouting. And unwrap in some timbers. All I can do is mute microphone. Um, mute microphone. That's all he can do. What so software are you using? Okay. I can, I can change colours. Oh, we can bubbles. change the colour. Oh, I've got bubbles. There you go. Bubbles, excellent. I can't see bubbles on the screen, so that's fine. Um, <clears throat> oh, no, I can see bubbles on the screen. <laughs> yeah, oh, my God. So back to normal. I don't know what else we've got. Right, okay. So we are trying to resolve the uh, the issue, boys and girls. Oh, uh, What's documentary. He got? Documentary. Oh, no, that's rough. Right. Oh, greeny. Nice, I like that. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, that's all right. That's, that's quite nice. Cool. Disco. What's that? <laughs> that's not bad, actually. That's quite good. No, I'm not doing that. No, no, I know, I know. Right, so, okay. So we can resolve the audio thing then. Okay. So what about on your um, actually on the phone? Is it up to its max? It's no, it probably won't. Just in case. There you go. Headphones is up to full. Up chatter. to full mat disco. 
about that software, it's very limited out, doesn't give you much control. Right, okay. Yeah, but then we're going to use the next one, we're going to use the, what's the, app, uh, the app we've got, we're going to use them next. OSB. OSB or OBS. Oh, or OBS, yes, yeah, so we're going to use OBS next. We're going to use OBS on the next And that will be, we'll do that from inside the paint pod, and we're going to have two cameras, so there'll be a static, and then there'll be uh, one attached to my head, like an overhead, where you'll be able to get first person wireless view of the painting, hopefully. Anyway, anywho, anywho, uh, anywho. <laughs> let's um, let's do some some stuff here, and then I'll come back and have a look at the screen in just a sec, uh, everybody. So um, just give me some, bear with me a minute, and we'll still try and shout down this. Um, so yeah, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to build up the frames. So let me just tell you what the frames are. So these are a sustainable timber. They're a Norwegian pine, I think, or a softwood. They're very, very low in moisture content, so they don't warp. They're really, really, really good. So short of using ash or oak or something like that, um, specifically ash, which is quite a popular medium, then um, these have got the lowest moisture content um, next to ash that so far I've ever been able to find. And they're really, really, really good. Um, I just buy them off the shelf. It's not like they make them or anything. Um, and they're brilliant, and they're just a push fit. So you can pretty much have them in any combination you want in whole steps of five and 10 centimeters. So for these two paintings, which are gonna to go to a client in London, um, it's gonna choose one of these. So uh, they're gonna be 190 by 85. So I'm gonna be making up two frames, 190 by 85 centimeters. So we'll just get on and do that now. Um, Streamlabs OBS is better, but needs a lot of setup. Any who? <laughs> Excellent. Right. Yeah, I'm not sure which OBS we've got. It might be the Streamlabs one. Um, I've got a feeling it was the one from um, from Twitch that we were looking at. No, from some links off from Twitch. But anyway, there you go. Good. Okay, the frame's made here. Lovely. Right, so what we've got now, so we're going to slot these into the back. So what Aidy's just done, uh, I'll show you actually on the camera. So the, uh, the crossbars, which are a, a, a push fit, and it's just popped a couple of screws in, which just stops them from popping out. <clears throat> popping out. Uh, when, it's, when they're put together. Because obviously in the lifetime of the painting, if it's taken off and put back on again, you don't really want, um, don't really want the frames popping out and popping in again. So a couple of screws in the back. And then when they go in, um, the screws will be towards the canvas back, if you like. So all they, the client would see is just without the screw faces, so that's it really. Looks and sounds okay now, yay, thank you, funny fox. Right, okay, so, these have got to, so audio's good mate, audio's good. Hooray! So, um, next thing we've got, we've got some slots in the back. Now these have got two slots in them, these particular stretcher bars. So I'll show you, so the, um, <clears throat> you can either have the, uh, the crossbars in the, uh, one towards, more towards the canvas. I prefer, I don't really know why, got to be honest, why they do, but I prefer to put them in the back. So that actually then, because of the way the frames are made, the crossbars sit flush with the back of the actual frame. I'll show you when it's all made up. It'll make sense. <laughs> Whoopsie. I just chuck that on the floor, mate. I just chuck it on the floor, that's fine. There you go, right. Lol. Uh, okay, so let's get the sides on. Let's get the sides on. I think Amazon did you actually make my... The, it just come up on the phone that parcel was three stops away. <laughs> so it's probably in the office. Unless the guy can hear so much commotion going on. Right, a bit of banging now, ladies and gents. <clears throat> right, so... Right. Have one of those, yeah. Okay. So, uh, yes, first job is to get the frame square. So because they're a push fit, uh, it can, there's plenty of room to be able to to get them as well to get them perfectly square now the technical term for this 
uh, they're called a floating frame, um, which means that unlike sort of like the less expensive, more mass-produced stuff, floating frames are not glued into the corners. So that over the lifespan of the painting, you, you can continually adjust the frame and knock it outwards to retention it if you need to. But I've used these now for, God, it must be about 10 years, isn't it, mate? Mm -hmm. 10, 12 years. Um, so everything gets these frames on it. Eventually. I've got to remember I've got a microphone on me and I can't do anything untoward. <sighs> well, you normally do. But then we don't normally do two at once. I wonder if straight auction rooms underneath her can hear that. Probably. Right then, dude. Right, okay, do you want the set square then? And you can start squaring up. Right. Uh. Oh, that's pretty good. That's not so good. So what we're going to really do now is just uh, make sure the frames are square, two tools of choice, set square and a hammer. That's pretty much that. Spot on. Yeah. Okay, comments, what do we got? Any sounds okay? Okay, good. That's a start for 10. Super. Right, <clears throat> so that's the uh, frames stretched up. Next thing, we need the staplers. Um, <laughs> so, right, check us up some freshes then, buddy, if you would, and I'll uh, just yeah. replace them. So we tend to use quite a lot of staples, as you can imagine. Yeah. Um, so we're just going to fill the guns up with the maximum capacity. I'm going to use one each. Here you go. don't have to use an electric stable gun, you can use a hand one, but to be honest, if you've got to do a hand one and put a couple of hundred staples in, it's a bit of a nightmare, so it's a lot easier just to use one of those. So that's that. How are we looking on there, dude? We're we looking all right. Looking all right. Cool. Oh, my microphone's come out. Hello? It's all right. It's all right. We're all good. Still right, so hopefully you'll still hear me now, even though it's gone blank on the screen. Uh, yeah, because that's going to be the one he's actually going to have, I think. So that should be canvas one. Do you want me to grab the end of that? Oh, yeah. Right, we're just getting the canvas. Right, okay. Right, okay. okay. Yeah, through. Right, which way do you want to do it? Mm, yeah, I suppose that we're not going to get them that way, are we? So just do one. We'll have to do one between us, then, buddy. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, ladies and gents, what we've got this is the uh, painting that's going to get stretched. Goes face down, and then we're going to lay the first frame over the top. Use this one, mate. Right. All righty then. So it squares down there. So what Ada is going to do now is um, we're going to get it uh, roughly straight onto the frame. So what this basically means is we're going to make sure that it's level both ends with the same amount of distance. Now, it can get a little bit complicated in terms of, I'm sure my microphone's still here. Because canvas stretches slightly more one way than the other, so what I mean by that is, is you'll have like um, a, an anchor point and then a stretch point. So when you anchor and stretch, there is a little bit of movement wherever you're stretching it to, which then pulls the painting over. So we tend to slightly offset it one side to the other and one end to the other. 
because there's one, the anchor side has normally got a smaller gap, uh, sorry, a bigger gap, and then the stretch side has got a smaller gap, because when you stretch it, it then evens the gap up both sides. So I hope that kind of makes some random sense. Let's check our comments. Are you going to produce a famous diamond shape? Yes, we are. It's good that you should remember that. <laughs> so we're, so we're uh, anchor and pull, yeah? So what Aid has just done there is he's made a slightly wider point here than that by what, five, six mil? Five, six mil. Five, six mil, because that's the amount of stretch we're going to have. And then, um, so I'm going to anchor this side when I've got the heat gun out. And then Aid is going to pull and stretch so then the gap uh, and the amount of canvas that goes over will remain constant. Um, right, so just before we get going, you can tell how organised we are, can't you? Because uh, we need to get the heat gun out. And I'll explain the role of the heat gun very shortly. Okay. One heat gun. One heat gun. Right then, okay, heat gun. Um, Particularly, um, my enamel paints like to be heated. Now, because they are inherently quite a brittle paint, uh, depending on what you've done, if it's um, if it's particularly heavy and it's been left a while, if you start to stretch it, you can get cracks. Um, cracks are not good. So heating relaxes one of the um, compounds in the resin, which allows everything to move just slightly. So as a good rule of thumb, unless it's something very, very thin or it's fresh out of the, the paint room, then uh, we give it a heat. Um, and that's really just about it, just to heat it, just so it stretches a bit better as well. The other thing it does, it relaxes the, the weave in the canvas. So it actually means you can stretch it a little bit better. Um, so for this is the anchor point and that's the stretch point. So I'm just going to do a small section here and heat it just so I can turn the canvas over and get an anchor point. All right, so whack it up. It's probably quite, I don't know if you can hear that now, but. All right, that's a good shot on there, mate. That's all right. So, uh, yeah, you can normally feel, it's quite interesting actually on certain canvas, especially natural canvas, because you can feel a bit of moisture starting to come off it. So I'll do the inside and I do the outside where it, it stretches round. I think that's pretty all right. So, yep. Yeah. So, Eddie's going to do the same now while I just anchor. Switch the damn thing on. Here we go. So, three staples in is enough just to anchor that point. So, he's going to do the same again now. Right, so this is the first stretch now. Um, you mentioned the diamond shape in the comments. Oh, no, comments come on. Ah, you've upgraded the guns. Ah, yeah. Well, they are the same ones we normally use. But, uh, yeah, so <clears throat> we're going to go for this diamond shape now. So this diamond shape is important that we do uh, the cross angles, the center points, first of all. So you always work from the center and then go outwards to the edges, all right? That's the only way this really works. If you start and do a complete edge, you'll just be in all sorts of shapes because when you get to the last point uh, of it, you'll end up with a great big wrinkle. So always go for the center points first. So two long sides first, followed by the two short sides. If you've got a square, it doesn't matter, obviously. So I'll do the same again. You'll probably see on the table, there's lots of scorch marks. So it's had a lot of use. So the use of a pin hammer, which is what Aidy's got up there, is important because if any staples don't quite go in because of being an electric stapler, then you could just tap them in. It's very important on the initial ones. Right, so I'm having a good pull there. Easy to go. Easy to go. And three gone in. So... Let's just recap what we've done. So after the measure, three either side and three staples in top and bottom. And now you can just about see this diamond shape appearing now, which is what we're referring to in the comments. Okay, so I'll just point that out. So here and here, slightly di oh, difficult on a rectangular one to see, 
and then there and there. All right, so now we've got this crisscross of tension going across the middle. So we're going to pull out the canvas pliers now, um, which allows us to get good even stretch on tension on the canvas. We don't tend to use the canvas pliers when we're just doing the first four um, staples. All right? Just a personal thing. I just don't really need to stretch them that much. But on all these subsequent ones now, you do, canvas pliers are pretty good. It can get really, really tough on your fingers and thumbs, just kind of an old school way of doing it. Occasionally we do it that way, but this has got quite a bit of paint on it, so we really need to get quite a lot of force to, to get a, a decent stretch on the canvas. Oh, I see. They're the same, but hanging from the top now, unlike an early video. Yes. Yes, we have an upgraded look to a centre-mounted... Um, Extension lead. Woohoo! <laughs> so, do you see what happens when we stick the lights on, buddy? Do we get the horrendous flick? Oh, yes, yeah, so we're going to. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. Right, let's have a, a light test. So, we're going to put the lights on from the ceiling. There we go, right. Have we got flicker? I don't think we have, mate. Let's check on the. Uh... Yeah, right. On the phone, right. Let's check on here. No, mate, that looks, uh, that looks good. Good, good. Right, so we've got a bit of extra light now, everybody. Splendid. Right, okay, good. So, uh, okay, so what Ada's just done now, we've just heated this side. So we're going down now, and we're going to go up to around about here. Um, so uh, we're going to do the same on the other side now. So I'll go and heat. And all we're really going to do is just work from one side to the other. So the rule of thumb here is if you work whatever you do one side, you do on the other one as an opposite. So that's what we're going to do now. Is that alright, yeah? So I'm going to work, work my fingers in, uh, make sure, make sure I, uh, make sure the heat goes into all the right places. Let's move on. <coughs> okay, I'll just do the end as well. So let me explain what's going on here. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay. You should have a mic too. <laughs> so you can do some impressions. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, one doesn't say anything, so that's, that, that's I mean. fine, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, okay, so we're going to give it an initial tweak all the way up. Don't forget, it's anchored on the other side. All right, so I'm just going to go that far up. It's good, I've got no problems with cracking there. And I'm going to give this end a little tweak just to straighten out any kinks that might be f underneath the actual frame. That's pretty good. All right, mate, yeah. And then we, oh, right, so Aidy's going to trim the end, which is nice. Now, natural canvas tends to keep its rough kind of stretched um, shape when you've attacked it with the pliers. So what I mean by that is I don't need to keep that tension on with the pliers. This particular carpet is like is a, quite a cheap acrylic carpet, but actually what it does, it grips the surface of the painting. It's such a weird thing that we've found over the years. So when you've given it a tweak with the, with the canvas pliers and then let go, it kind of holds that shape. So when you put in the staple in, you only really need to keep a, you know, a fairly good tension between thumb and forefinger and actually that's that works out pretty well it's not you have to keep the canvas there for every single staple move it along stretch it put the staple in move it along stretch it put the staple in you can once it's had a good tweak along and you've got a bit of tension on it you can just go straight the way through with your row of staples that's that's pretty good so Ada's just trimmed off a little bit of the excess canvas because it's just a little bit too too much really to go around the jaws of the pliers so so now we're going to mirror, like I said, whatever you do on one side, you've got to do on the other. So we're going to mirror this side now. So I'll start heating for this edge. Now, because this is going to be the, the edge that has the most pressure on it, because we're anchored and now we're stretching, then I'm also going to start heating the centre of it as well. Now, this is quite thick of paint, which you'll see when it's finished, when we turn it over. So I really want to get the spread of heat out. Uh, and maneuver it as round as much as I can. It just loosens everything up and you get a better stretch. 
I can feel there's quite a few lumps and bumps here, so my lady's having a bit of a trim and a check on the tech. I'm going to get this really nice and loosened up, nice and hot. Down the seams, down the edges. Bubbles and hair dryers must be wrong video. <laughs> Aidy should have a microphone too, starting an online petition. <laughs> we'll get one, we'll get one. Ah, good, excellent, mate, well done. All right, so getting in here now, really trying to spread some of the heat around, get under the butt. <laughs> what happened there, dear? Oh, that's funny. That's funny. This is Oscar winning stuff, man. We haven't even had Arnold Schwarzenegger impressions yet. Man. Yeah. Definitely get you a, a microphone. Right, okay. So, that's good, actually. That, that worked quite well. I like that. <laughs> that was awesome, dude. That's the best bit of the whole video. Right, okay, okay, good, good. So that's looking really good. So I want it really, really, really nice and warm now because it will kind of go cool very, very quickly. But that's not bad. I need to give the end a tweak as well so I can feel. When you do this with the hands, you can actually feel the lumps and the bumps. So it kind of does give you an idea about where you really need to focus the heat. Um, <clears throat> so when you're doing it by hand, that's really quite a good thing to do. Oh, I nearly swore then. Really? Okay, so let's have a little look. Not too bad. It's better. It's good. Have we got an Amazon parcel yet, mate? No. No. Okay. Come on, Mr. Bezos. Sort your deliveries out. I need a USB cable. Right. Staples are being a bit problematic. That's probably, that's my phone gone, so that's probably um, Jeff Bezos' lawyers. <laughs> right, if I did you go up, that's cool. Right, so I'll do the other side. Bit jump, oh, fancy camera work, lol. Bit jumpy, nice angles though. Sweet! Well done, mate. Like it. Not sorry. Oh, actually off it. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's cool, mate. That's cool. Cola beverage. <laughs> Cola, yeah. Non, not branded. Because it's the taste of champions. Cola. <laughs> <laughs> right. So again, just seeing the same on the other side now. It's just, there's quite a quite a line there. So I need to sort the line out. It's fine. I mean, <clears throat> in the winter it gets ridiculously cold in here, um, to the point where you can't feel your fingers. So actually, the heat gun in the winter is uh, quite nice, isn't it, mate? Yeah. We can actually do work in the winter. Um, but yeah, you really, really do uh, need the heat gun. If you haven't got a heat gun, you need a hairdryer or something if you're going to attack this. But, um, I mean, genuinely, it's more rewarding to do this than using um, using pre-stretched canvases. I mean, there's nothing wrong with those, but I've just always preferred this. You know, and it's a common question, why do you do that? But, well, on pre-stretch, with the volume of paint I use, if you think about it, the, the, the paint, because it's so heavy, is going to start pooling into its into the point at which there is least resistance or least tension, which is the centre. So what happens, historically, everything just falls into the centre on a pre-stretch. So this is born out of the fact I have no choice. But this is the only way I can do it. OK, that's good. Um, <laughs> with Chris Tarrant. The, uh, what do you want? Uh, the hammer. Right, so I'll do this end then, mate. Oh, I'm stuck to the table.
Yeah, that's right. I've done both anyway, mate. So. Yeah. Good. Good. Have you opened your drink? Yeah. You have, right. I'm going to have a drink. Right, where are we up to? Uh, mega lol about the drinks. <laughs> I need a brand deal. We so do, don't we? That'd be nice, wouldn't it? And today's stretching video is brought to you by... <laughs> Can't even say anything because that would be. I did have something funny I was going to say then. Yeah, that's um, that is good, mate. Good call, that. Right, better do this end then. Just make sure I don't belch down the microphone now because that's not attractive, is it? I um, I know this is on camera, but I did I genuinely had the world's worst headache yesterday, mate. And uh, I was so dosed up on meds. Um, and I did the same before I came out. <laughs> the great taste of success. <laughs> I was really quite dosed up on meds. Yeah. And um, got up really early, came in quite early because I had accounts to do and everything. And um, it's all just starting to wear off now. <laughs> I feel myself crashing and my head ain't coming back. Blimey. Yeah, so we can do some nice corner close-ups in a minute, can't we? Yeah. If you want to, so you're going to take it off the uh, crime. Yeah. Right, okay. Now we're getting somewhere. All right, do this side first. Okay. Yeah. Are we looking? We're looking all right. Yeah. Uh, entirely up to you. I don't, I don't mind, mate. Yeah, can if you want. Yeah. Yeah, they're birds now. Here's a brand deal. He's watching. Four people watching. Whoa. Doubled our viewership, buddy. Awesome. I know. I know. Right then. So, Ada's going to work his way up to the corners. <clears throat> so we'll deal with the corners in a moment, just so you can see what's happening. Um, just see so he's back at the moment, which is, which is really nice. Oh my God, Ada, definitely a brand deal. <laughs> Camera moved. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, five's watching. Yay. Woohoo. Awesome. Okay. All right. Right. Start on this one? Uh, yeah. Right. So, shall I take it off here? Yeah, I can do. Good. Yeah. Right then. Here we go, my lovelies. Just can see your backs now. Okay. Right. So, we're going to go in with the corners. Now, corners are... Uh, an interesting thing. You need to give yourself sort of, uh, I don't know, 5, 10, 15 centimetres, something to work with. So this is what's called a gallery wrap edge. Don't ask me why, I don't really know. I'm not that interested, but that's apparently what it's called. And uh, it's really just like this, I've done it on previous videos, it's just like this double flap system. I'll, I'll show you on uh, when we go around to this side. But it's really just as simple as that. When you start to bend the canvas, it works, it finds its own kind of level. A few staples in. Lovely. And that, oh, that's nearly fell over. And that, let's put that, there we go. That's better. And then just a few to stop, and that's it. So, let, we, let us show you on here. Are you going to heat that up, buddy? Yeah, it needs to warm a little bit. All right, let me do that then. So we're just going to warm the flaps up now. See Ada just tweaking them there. <clears throat> Always had a problem with white cracking for some reason, haven't we? I don't really know why. Is that, is that all right? Yep. Hardest paint. Black being the softest. 
Right, okay. So, let's move this up a bit. Right. Oh, yeah, because we're one, he's right handed, I'm left handed, no, so we I'm tend to do. Handed. You're yeah. right handed. Is that what I, did I not just say that? No, you said you were left handed. Oh, right, the other way around then. Anyway. So, give it a little, little, little tweak into the corner. So, let's see if we can get right in there now. Oh, it's not the camera. <laughs> get right in there now, look. That's good. And over the top. So, he's going to do a V fold across the diagonal and that kind of, once you straighten it out, look, see, it automatically gives you the fold over the top. And what you have to do is straighten it up so that it doesn't shoot over this side and it's not too far over that side. And that's it. So the gallery wrap edge is really, really simple. It's not going in. Okay. I'll sort those in a minute. So you can see there, look, it's, it's, the staples don't like the wood for some reason. So you'll probably uh, un unpick a couple of those now. Yeah. This is all good that it's going live like this. It shows it's not rehearsed then. But now we can react to that. Okay, so it's just going to unpick those. happy with the way they went in so we'll try that again could just be a few dodgy staples that's better nice beautiful give that a damn good whack right two out of two two left to do all right let's go up the table then Right, sound as a pound. Uh, better, yes, better, jolly good. Right, so he'll do that again. So where else can we? Where else can I go? <laughs> Looks quite therapeutic, especially with bubbles. Polite request for a chill out music next time. <laughs> no problem. Let's make sure we don't fall foul of any copyrights. Right, let's see if I can stand that up. Oh, no, it's got the knobbly-bobbly bit on the end, doesn't it? I'm out. You're out. Other one's full. And that's why we have two staple guns, look. Well, normally because it's just we're stapling. Both of us are stapling. I reckon this could be cult viewing, mate. Oh, something that begins with a C anyway. There's the man in his natural habitat. Yeah. People, will be, people will be writing in, mate, in years to come, going, get rid of the bald bloke. We want to see more of the guy that does the work. Definitely going to have to get you a microphone. Mr. Scalone says... So, last thing we need then before we completely lose the plot, uh, bubbles, yeah, that's fine, is uh, the corner wedges. So, let's have a little look down here in the big box of tricks. So these are the corner wedges. So we're going to need eight of these. And then I'll show you why we put those in the corners in just a second. Two, three, four. Okay. So you need these because these are opposing wedges that move into the corners and help put a little bit of tension on the frame. And the whole point of that is, is it just gives that the corners a bit of a stretch out. And of course, what I alluded to earlier on in the uh, live stream 
was that should a painting need to be retentioned for any reason, you literally just whack the living daylights out of these into the corners and it gets rid of all the, the floppy bits in the corner. You see, uh, let's have a look at what Aidy's doing now. Okay, simple as that really. So just do that in each corner. So they go in to oppose each other, like thus, and you uh, give them a whack. It's good on the handheld, this actually, isn't it? Yeah. 46 minutes so far. Blimey. I know, crazy, isn't it? So if I get these out of the way a little bit, you can do the grand reveal. And then I'll pop it back on the uh, stand. I can feel it <laughs> in the air tonight. I see. Hello. Hello. Oh, parcel, yes. I'm, I'm just coming, I'm just coming. Oh, this is unexpected. I hope these are my USB cables. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Hello. Thank you very much. Lovely. Thank Sorry. you very much. Cheers, buddy. Thank you. Hmm. What's this then? That doesn't feel like USB cables, mate. I wonder what that is. What else have I bought? That'll be the four meters USB. Ah, that's true. Right then, ladies and gentlemen, drum roll, please. Da, 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 da. Okay. There you go. Look at that. Do that again. He's doing his Phil Collins now. <laughs> that was actually the intro from In the Air tonight. Um, so there we go. We have a finished canvas. Uh, edges all look pretty good. Yeah, like that. So this is what what client will see in a few weeks' time. But that, ladies and gents, is one stretched up canvas painting. So that's what we do every time we do it. So the reason we took we're doing double time because that'll be the end of that money. Take it out. Right. So I can walk backwards without hitting anything. Also, nice camera, bro. Oh, sorry. Nice canvas, bro. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right. Okay. Yeah. Take it towards the other one. Yeah. All right. This is the back room of the gallery. It looks really nice today with the light. Oh, yeah. Look. There's another one. Right, one down, one to go. Double down. Double down canvas stretching. Why paint one when you can paint two? <laughs> Absolutely right. Let's get this bad boy on. Right, we may have to go shortly, mate, because we've got to go and get these bars. So dude's going to be back because it's gone ten, to, no, five to one now. We'll get it on, yeah, we we'll get it started, and then we'll have to uh, stop the stream, mate. But you might want to explain the reasons why there's two. I guess not. Uh, yeah, well, um, two are going down to uh, uh, client um, for him to choose which one he wants. So this is the second one. So hence, why we made up two frames. Do so for each for each commission, always get two variations. And like probably most people who don't, but we do. Oh, ouch! Right, there we go. Okay. Lovely. And that. Oh, so I got a little bit of flicker there, mate. You yeah, just see that. Yeah. So let's move away. Right. Let's get back on the pedestal. Yeah, so that's number two of two. Where does that go in there? Ah, I see, right. There we go. Right, back on terra firma. Let's just get that sorted out. Lovely. Okay, so we'll just get that pinned. So I'll just run through that one more time. Right, what further comments have we got? Change my mind, need some rhythmic jazz and staples hammer working accordingly. <laughs> yeah. Superb. Excellent. Yeah. 
Remember, viewers, rush out and tell your friends how awesome this has been today. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe because there's going to be loads of live streaming now. Once we get the kit set up, and this is just the precursor to what we're going to do, there's going to be, look, no, no word of a lie, like stuff on your head. I'm going to have a wireless camera so get really up to what's happening in uh, on the face of it with the painting and everything going on the canvases. Going to really try, we're going to try and stream it live inside the pod with all the noise and the harsh chemicals and all that kind of stuff. That's what we're going to try and do. That's what we're working on. Um, so even maybe by the end of the week that we might be in a position to do a, a live stream, actual paint stream. So this is the, um, the, the technical side after it's been painted. But obviously I know that a lot of people want to see what it's like to actually be in there doing the painting. So um, this is to try and we're having a little test today because this job's got to do anyway. So might as well just stream it and see what happens. Um, so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to uh, give us a which side of the screen is it going to be this side? No. A subscribe somewhere there. Thank you very much. Let all your friends know. Um, that's great. How many people are watching there? It would be cool to have two screens, one small with close-up. Is this what you're planning? Uh, yes. Yes, it is. Yes, 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 yes. So when the painting happens, we're going to have one static cam, which covers the whole canvas, and then uh, one movable cam, a bit like this today, so you can see what's going on. Um, so I haven't quite finalised that yet, uh, but it will probably be a GoPro attached to my head. <laughs> um, so I haven't quite figured that out yet, but we're going to try the tech and we'll try another live stream as soon as we've got that and figure out which is the best way to do it. If that gets too uh, too wobbly or can't make it steady enough, um, then we'll just look at a different option. So it might be like we've done today using the, uh, the gimbal um, and the iPhone with it. But um, yeah, hopefully have um, it'll come through one source, but it'll have two, two, ca two camera angles on it, definitely. All right. Cool, have two screens. Yeah, okay, cool. This is just proving to be a little bit difficult to do at the moment with the limited equipment we've got. Yeah, yeah, and that's without spending a fortune on equipment as well. So we'll try and make, we have got a lot of stuff, so just trying to make use of what we've got. Anyway, cool. Right, ladies and gents, that's almost, is that an hour we've been on? It feels like it. Thank you for watching. I hope you're going to take a bow, mate, since you've done all the work. No, yeah, well, I'll just, uh, you know. Um, so yeah, so thank you very much. Um, feedback's welcome, subscribe's welcome. Um, if you do like this when it's been processed on YouTube, please share it. Um, anyway, it's quite sort of raw, nothing scripted. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed seeing how the process of us stretching original paintings around their frames go, and a little bit of the technical stuff behind it. Okay, that will be it. That will be it. Number two. Let me come and move that around. Right. So we've got, got, got the basis of it, yeah, yeah and it. there we go. So slight variation on the first one, just to give the client a few options. But, uh, yeah, so that's number two. So hopefully uh, when the client sees it, uh, one of them will be staying at his apartment. There we go. Right, everybody, um, thank you so much for watching. Appreciate your time today. Feedback is always welcome. And I know I've said that about 500 times, but subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Thank you very much. And uh, we'll see you on the next one, hopefully at the end of the week or something.